So we've talked in this course about displaying tile and image layers, both of which serve up static images. So you may be wondering, why are we talking about it again? Well, mainly, I'm bringing it up so that I could show this great example. This is a static image. You can see I can pan it and zoom into it just like any other map. One thing you might notice, though, is that the further in we zoom, the worse the resolution gets. This image is not being replaced on the fly by a new, cleaner, more zoomed-in version served up by a GIS server. This is just a single static image. However, it is useful for demonstrating the fact that you can display any image you like in open layers. Just as with any other raster image, we needed to provide a projection and an extent for this map. And they've done that in the code. You can see here there's an extent and a projection. And in this case, the projection is a user-defined one, which simply maps the image coordinates directly to the map coordinates. So in other words, position x equals 1, y equals 1 in the projected coordinates would be the pixel one column over and one row down. So you may be asking yourself, what real use is there for a static image? Well, it's just like any other layer. You can overlay any image you want onto a map. So for example, if you wanted to create a map that showed all the locations that you've been on vacation along with some snapshots, you could overlay the snapshots over the locations on the map. 